Okay, welcome back to tutorial 3.0. In this tutorial, 3.5, we are going to define our master shape data. Okay, back in Visio. And over here on the left is our auto inventory, uh, inventory Visio stencil set. We need to get back into edit mode, so right mouse click on that bar, edit stencil. Got our red asterisk to tell us we're ready to go. Let's right mouse click on the truck. Master shape, edit master, edit master shape. Okay, we're back into uh, where we added our graphic. Now we are going to add uh, shape data. So we right mouse click on that graphic. We go to data, select shape data. Comes up and says no data exists. Do you want to define it? Yes. Okay, and this. Uh, window. I only have a couple of uh, fields to complete. The label is shape ID. Shape underscore ID. All lowercase is fine. And then in this prompt field, please type in enter a unique value. And you'll understand in a moment why we do that. And then click ask on drop. What that does is when you drop the a master shape onto a diagram to create an instance, it will, I'm going to click OK to this, it will come up with this prompt window that's asking for uh, the unique value to be put in the shape ID field. I'll just say OK to this right now. Uh, that's really all we have to do at this point to define shape data. Let's close and save this. We go up to the black X to close the window. Update truck, yes. Back in Visio, you can see that our Visio stencil set wants to be saved. As changes were made, I click on that icon to save the stencil. And I will get out of edit stencil mode. And just so you can see how it works, when you drag a truck over onto the diagram, here you're being prompt, and I'm just going to put in a, a name, truck, underscore 001. Say OK. And I would repeat that process for... Uh, more shapes that I want to add. but So you see here on the right, there's a value. For now, I'm just going to delete this because there's something else we have to do in the stencil set in the next tutorial. But uh, for 3.5, we've covered what we need to.